Hey everyone, it's Summer Hammonds with HammondsNest.com and I have a really cute little door hanger idea to show you. Of course, you could use this one anywhere in the home, but I designed it specifically thinking it would make beautiful door decor. So the first thing I did, I had a thrifted watering can that was metal and I didn't like the color of it, so I gave it a coat, a couple coats of white spray paint. And then I have this round circle that is going to be the base for our design. And I'm going to go ahead and stain it. And I made a custom stain with chocolate chalk paint, like a chocolate color of ch chalk paint. And then I watered it down and just kind of created my own stain. You've probably seen me do this before. Um, I like it because I can easily work indoors with it. And it's water-based and no toxins and all that kind of good stuff. So no fumes. But all I do is brush it on there and then wipe it back with a clean rag. And once I get this circle covered, by the way, this wood circle is 18 inches round. So if that kind of gives you an idea, it's a pretty good size door hanger. I'm going to go ahead and knock off the edges, knock out the edges here too. And once we let that dry for a little while, I'm going to go ahead because I know what I'm going to be layering on this door decor piece. I'm going to go ahead and seal it. And I have a water-based sealer that's called Gator Hide and it's just a polycrylic. So it's going to go ahead and seal in my stain color because you'll see in a minute all these embellishments that we're adding it would be kind of hard to seal the wood after those are put on so that's why i'm doing it before and once that is dry we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab that watering can because it's had some time to dry and it is metal so do be careful i have my drilling block underneath it to catch the drill bit and i just drilled a simple hole and i'm going to actually use a little bit of hot glue on the back to kind of help hold it in place where I want it but what's really going to hold it in place is me taking an angled screw that will not go through the back and just like I said putting it in at an angle and that holds it into the wood so next I have a bunch of different kind of faux flowers and I just kind of here I'm going to kind of fast forward because you don't want to watch me clip all of these off and figure out where all they're going to go but I just had this pretty variety and I thought the colors all looked really good together. I think that this concept could be adapted to any season you know you could think fall colors Christmas something that you could have um and I just think it was really beautiful. So all I did was laid out all my faux flowers where I wanted and kind of had the idea that they were spilling out or being watered by the watering can. So the way we're going to turn it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Once I got all those in place, I glued them all down and they're all good to go. Next, I cut this little fresh flower market decal with black permanent vinyl on my silhouette machine and I attached it to the side of the watering can to give it a little extra special touch. Now, we need a little bow to fill in that extra space that's on that circle. So this is my little easy bow that I do. It's just a layered bow. You can put as many ribbons or as less ribbons as you want uh, in there, but I just pulled out some really pretty neutral colors as to not compete with all the really pretty flowers that were going on on the door hanger. So I'm cutting all the strips. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get them all ready to go. And all that I do here, I have a little bit of raffia I'm going to work in as well. All that I do here, if you haven't seen, is I make an X in my hand and I just go back and forth in a pattern, grabbing all the pieces, kind of dispersing them evenly amongst the bow. So depending on which kind of different patterns you chose, you may keep it all simple and do all the same color. It's really up to you. But I put that big thing of raffia ever so often. Then I just turn it over, give the string a nice little tie. And you're going to see me here. You're going to see on the end shot when I show you the reveal, I actually did something different to this bow. I ended up adding a big burlap back because I just thought it needed to be a little bit bigger. So I just made a very simple loop bow as a base for this bow that you saw me make. And you'll see that in the reveal at the end. But it takes up a little bit more space. Then as a little extra touch on that watering can, I took some of the raffia to play on the raffia that I had put in the bow. Did a simple loop bow. And then also I took some white chalk paint with a palette knife. You're not going to see me do this. I took some white chalk paint with a palette knife. And I did some rough border edges along it. I thought it needed something after I hung it up and started to take pictures of it. And that is the beauty of crafting. Sometimes you're like, oh, a little, little more of this, a little less of that. So you'll see the white border that was added. And you'll see the big burlap bow base that was added behind our bow that we made. And I think it came out so cute. I think this concept could be adapted, like I said, to many different seasons. I hope you're inspired to make one. If you do, of course, I would love to know. Y'all have a great day.